we've, we've kind of scripted ourselves historically to think that it's, you have to take something in and that there's something magic about these substances then that make us continue to want to consume them and then they harm us and that's addiction. Um, and I think that's changed particularly in the last 20 years and definitely in my opinion the last five to ten years uh, in that we now understand that those substances that we take into our bodies actually affect changes in the brain's chemistry, the way the brain processes those substances. It's the internal chemicals in the brain that are stimulated by these external substances that creates the milieu that then produces addiction, this desire to continue to take these substances which harm individuals even though they try to stop. We now know that behaviors that are very important for survival, which have been evolutionarily um, scripted, really, uh, through, through development, through dev environmental niches to help us survive. Uh, food, sex, uh, particularly, um, these behaviors can also be consumed in such a manner that the brain's neurochemistry is altered in a very similar process as to that which occurs in addiction. And that is something I think that's really changed our understanding of what addiction is. It's not just a substance, it can be to a behavior. And the neurochemical process in the brain is very much the same, although the upstart uh, may be quicker with a substance. Meth, crystal meth, IV, uh, you know, in, uh, intravenously injected heroin will get you there a lot faster. But the process is the same for behavioral addictions as well.